Hello, welcome back. Um, are you ready for another uh, one album wonder list? Uh, a while back, I did a, uh, I did a, a, just a random group of albums by bands that only have one album, and I'm going to do another one now. This time, I have a bunch. I have a bunch of probably close to 20, 18, 18 to 20 albums here, and I'm just going to run through them. I'm not going to review them because, hell, I haven't listened to most of these in years. I revisited a few of these, but um, overall, I just didn't want to fuck with it. I just want to make a video and get these bands out there to whomever watches this channel. Maybe they will like these bands if they discover them. So without further ado, here we go. I want to do the CDs first. First up is a band called Flame. This was their only album, obviously. Um, the cover is really cool. It's like a... I don't know, like a chess game or something, but uh, it's definitely like a, a hard rock, uh, late 80s hard rock sound, but it came out in, I think, 91? No, it says 92. But uh, a fun fact about this band, they have a song on Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead soundtrack, which I have on vinyl, um, which is a pretty damn good soundtrack, by the way. Um, it had like Valentine on there, a couple of songs. Um but uh, my favorite ones are called uh, are Don't Look Down, Shelter You, If You Had a Heart, Ball and Chain. It's just a good song. Desperate Heart. With a desperate heart. I haven't listened to this album forever, but it's a pretty solid album. That's Flame. Next up is a, kind of a super group of sorts. Um, that's Shadow King with um, Lou Graham of Foreigner and Vivian Campbell of Dio and Def Leppard. And they might have even had... Other band members on drums and bass, but I, I don't remember because uh, it's been forever, like I said. Uh, don't even know I'm Alive is a great song in my story of my life. <laughs> um, this Heart of Stone sounds like, uh, it might even be the, uh, like this Foreigner, the Foreigner has a song, Heart of Stone. I think it's a different song though. No Man's Land's a great song. This is kind of like Def Leppard meets Foreigner meets you know, Bon Jovi type stuff. Um, but it's really good. They only made a, did a, they only made this album and they only did a few, um, shows from what I understand. And they broke up, you know, Vivian Campbell went back to Def Leppard and Lou Graham went back to Foreigner. Uh, I think Mr. Moonlight came out a couple years later and then the rest is history. Next up, another famous member of the eighties, uh, was in this band shooting gallery. That would be, um, Andy McCoy of, uh, Hanoi rocks. He got together with a bunch of un unknown musicians, pretty much, and they made this album. It does not sound like Hanoi Rocks. It's not even close. It's really pretty bad. Billy G. Bang, the singer, can't sing for shit. Um, there's a, de a couple decent songs on it, but overall, it's, it's not one I would actually recommend. Uh, Teenage Breakdown, Nature of My Business, just the nature of my business. House of Ecstasy is good. Uh, I don't remember the rest. They did a cover of Brown Eyed Girl, which... I can't stand that song to begin with, but if you want a rarity to check out, and if you like Andy McCoy, check out Shooting Gallery. Another one, Nevada Beach. I think they were called Little Rosie or Innocent Rosie. Something Rosie, I forget. I, I read that a while back. Uh, but they changed their name to Nevada Beach, and this was their album they came out with, uh, Zero Day. Um, of course, uh, the title track's my favorite, On Zero Day. Waiting for an Angel is the... Uh, the video they released for this album it's a good song too um i haven't listened to this album forever uh stand is a good song but i mean it, there's nothing that's like uh stands out because you know it's a one album band for a reason and they came out way too late in the the game to make a difference i think this was 91 um let me see here i can't fucking read it because 90 but yeah it's a pretty decent album i would check it out if you like that style next up is one that's not that great. Uh, Outlaw Blood. I got this really cheap offline. Um, uh, Body and Soul. Great song. Um, Hollywood Babylon. The, the close the album's alright. Um, there's really... I need a soul revival. It's okay. I mean, it's just... It's nothing like... There's no great songs on it, really. I do like the cover because it reminds me of, like, Looney Tunes. Uh, but uh, it's okay. There's not much to say. I haven't listened to this album forever. Uh, it came out also in 91. That's when I got into this genre when I was real little at that time, so it makes sense. Next up, Bad for Good, Bobby Budnick from Salute Your Schwartz is the singer of this band. Uh, it was a, 
a teenage band, basically. Uh, the drummer Brooks uh, Wackerman went on to, uh, he's probably the most famous member of the band because he went on to do Bad Religion, drums for Bad Religion. Um, and then the guitar player was found found by Steve Vai. He was like some prodigy, uh, Thomas McRockland. He's British, I believe. But he only made this album and he said he didn't, he didn't like the touring or the music ind industry, so he quit playing, which is pretty lame. Um, but different strokes for different folks. But yeah, 19 was a video released. Um, but there's a lot of great songs on here, and Bud, Budnick can really fucking sing. Uh, Bangin' Time Again, Mother of Love, She's a Mother of Love, great song. Um, Nothing Great About a Heartache was uh, the ballad. They actually made a video for this, it's on YouTube, but it was never really officially released, I don't think. Um, it's a great song, it really shows his range on vocals, and uh, uh, there's just a lot of great songs on here. Another one that's a, a standout is Terminate, because it talks about Terminator. And, of course, Danny Cooksey, Budnick, was in Terminator at the beginning on the motorcycle with uh, Edward Furlong. So, yeah, I would highly recommend it. It was also produced by Steve Vai, so that's bad for good. Next up, Soul Kitchen. This band, you would think, came from, like, Alabama or, you know, Georgia, Tennessee, because they have this southern rock sound. But they're actually, um, uh, they were, uh, a couple guys came from the East Coast, but they were actually... Um, formed in LA and they had the same style of music it was like tattoo rodeo or you know like a, um who else was that same style like uh asphalt ballet first album it was like blues southern hard rock style and I just went back to re-listen to this one today because I was like hell I haven't heard this forever and actually it grew on me uh I Need a Bad was the the video and a single release the title uh, the the first track off the album Blue Eyes is a great song uh, Carry Me is a great slow ballad, piano ballad. Um, Backdoor to Heaven is another uh, southern rock ballad. It's, it's, uh, it's, if you like that type of blues, hard rock, like I said, Tattoo Rodeo type sound, I think this band actually did better than Tattoo Rodeo, in my opinion. Um, but 1992 was way too late in the game. Grunge already had hit. And a fun fact about this album, Kevin Cronin of uh, REO Speedwagon did guest vocals. I just found that out. That's crazy. Um do you like Speedwagon? What kind of man doesn't? Cobra, Cobra Kai reference there. Okay, a couple more CDs in this pile. Next up, Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, punk, hard rock, sleaze, uh, mostly glam uh, with a little bit of punk. And that's Big House. Uh, they, I don't know what ever happened to this band. None of the band members ever did anything afterwards. Um, but Dollar in My Pocket is a great, great tune. It, it kicks the album off really good. All Night is kind of like a poor man's version of like uh, something like uh, nothing but a good time, one of those party themes, but it's not as good. Um, Baby Dolls, it's kind of a boring ass ballad, but they made a video for it. Can't Cry Anymore is pretty a uh, highlight of this album, also. Um, the, the end of this song, run, chin, jump, run, can't jump, run. Oh, it's some fucking weird song like that, but or I don't know, they looped it over and just repeated it and sped it up. I think it's pretty cool. Um, and then LA is a pretty good song pop poppy uh, rock song that you can listen to if you're ro uh, rolling down Wilshire Boulevard or something it would be pretty cool to listen to but I mean I wouldn't recommend that album Big House but like I said Dollar in My Pocket it's a really cool song last up for the CD list uh, this is Kid Blue Big Trouble um, this is total uh, hairspray hair ballad cheesy I think it's cheesy, but I like that type of music. But, it, you know, when you think of cheesy, cheesy hair bands like Nelson, bands like that, this band would fit right into that group because their music's really cheesy. But um, Crystal Tears, great song. Um, Hold Me, uh, Restless Eyes, Be Your Fatal Attraction. I haven't listened to this album forever, so I can't really say a lot about it. But Midnight Train is another highlight. But, yeah, I mean, this is also way too late in the game and too... They were too, uh, I don't know, they didn't stand out enough, so that's another reason why this didn't sell. And, you know, they had all those names for collars up. <laughs> Great White, White Snake, mostly White, you know, White Lion, I'm Kid, Kid Blue. By that time they came out, Grunge had already taken over, so. Next up, I'll do a couple cassettes. Here's the AOR um, Stadium Journey, you know, giant uh, foreigner type stuff. Signal, their only album, by Mark Free, now known as Marcy Free, uh, from Cobra, or King, I was going to say Cobra Kai, King Cobra did the vocals on this, 
Uh, and it's really good. If you like that stadium uh, AOR hard rock sound, I mean, Arms of the Stranger is a great song. Does It Feel Like Love, I think, was the single released from this album. I haven't listened to these forever, uh, from this album. Uh, Could This Be Love, uh, Run Into the Night. I mean, it's just, if you know anything about AOR sound, like FM or, you know, like I said, Journey, bands like that, you would love this album. It's really good for what it is. And I pulled this because I already talked about Soul Kitchen. I have this on CD, but I can't find the damn thing on CD. And that's Sister Whiskey. They came out even later than Soul Kitchen. And uh, this came out in 1993, and by then, Grunge was already king. Uh, so it didn't really sell, but it's another southern rock sound, blues, hard rock band. Uh, Simple Man's a good uh, uh, way to start the album. It was a single release from it. Uh, Moonshine, uh, it's a great rock song. Um, you know, I mean, I haven't heard all these forever. So like I said, Open Your Heart's my favorite song off the album. It's a great ballad. It closes the album in style. Uh, Sleeping Your Life Away, basically what I do every day. Uh, another good rock song, so... If you like, I said, like I said, uh, Soul Kitchen, Tattoo Rodeo, um, bands like that, Asphalt Ballet, check out Sister Whiskey. And I'll do a few vinyls to end it. First up, since I'm a big Alice Cooper fan, uh, I wanted to get this one. I, I have to cover my face because it's fucking glare. Battle Axe by the Billion Dollar Babies. And basically, this is um, Alice Cooper group without Alice Cooper... And the other most important member of Alice Cooper, which is uh, uh, Glenn Buxton, the uh, lead guitarist, it's the it's the same basically. Michael Bruce, Neil Smith, Dennis Dunaway, and some guy named Mike Marconi on guitars. Um, there's nothing great about this album. It, it's it, it sounds good, like I said, but there, uh, Michael Bruce is not a very good singer. His vo uh, voice don't really hold you in. There's nothing wrong with this album. It, how if I were to explain this, it would be average albums but so, uh, sound pretty good and it would be an average back background album you mean you could put it on there's nothing wrong with it nothing stands out but it's a good style 70s you know rock album but you know there's no hits there's nothing that'll, that'll make you want to listen to it but when you put it on if you just put it on the background it's actually a pretty decent album uh for that purpose and i mean that with all this uh, with all respect because you know there, most people hate the album i don't hate it but like I said, the title track's okay. I think one of the singles were, was released. Was it Too Young or Shine Your Love or Miss You? It was one of the first three songs. I, I don't know. Um, apparently, they still, still tour. I saw a video last year of Billion Dollar Babies doing Alice Cooper songs. So, the band. Uh, I saw one on video. Uh, I think it was uh, Muscle of Love they were doing. So, apparently, they still go every once in a while. Still tour. Next up, these Eastern PA Philly, Philly Boys, Rough House. And um, they uh, were used, they were called Tees, but I think they had to change their name because there was a 70s band called Tees. Uh, they made one album on, under that name. Uh, it's hard to find. I think it was only one. Uh, this one is more like uh, the same time, same music of the time period, like hard melodic rock, uh, like hair metal style. Um, Tonight is a, a good single. That was the one that was released off this album for the video. Uh, Don't Go Away is a good song. Uh, Midnight Madness. Uh, Can't Find Love. I mean, uh, if you like the whole hair metal period, and if you haven't heard these guys, I would definitely check it out. It's Rough House. So, um, I don't know what I'm going to do about this damn glare, though. It fucking sucks. A couple more. Next up. Do it this way. Cobra. This is Jimmy Jameson before he went to Survivor and after he did Target uh, and Mandy Meyer from Crocus on guitar before he went into Crocus. Uh, this is uh, like a harder version of Survivor. Actually, it rocks pretty damn hard. Blood on Your Money, you can find that video. It was a lead uh, and only single release, I think, from this album and only video recorded. It's the lead off track, Blood on Your Money. It's a good song. Only You Can Rock Me is another great track from this album. It's not the UFO cover. <laughs> um... Traveling Man is the same song that's on the Gothard uh, Dial Hard album. I'm your traveling man. Cause, so uh, Mandy Meyer wrote that uh, song, and then he went on to play with Gothard. So he must have took that song with him, and they recorded it. And Dial Hard is my favorite Gothard album, so it kind of caught me off guard, you know. Uh, Danger Zone, another good rocking track. Uh, it's too bad they didn't make another album, but... You know, like I said, the rest is history. Cobra, and then 
of course, Jimmy Jamison found fame with Survivor. And last, I'm going to go with Hurricane Alice. Uh, they just released a new album, well, EP. It's a five-track uh, EP with a cover, so six songs, and one of the covers, I think, is Deep Purple's Highway Star. And it's only re uh, released on digital only, which is lame. And it doesn't sound like anything like their classic sound, so I didn't get it. Well, I can't get it because it's only on digital. But Tear the House Down, it's a great fucking album. Uh, they have the yeah, um, Wow, Young and Crazy, the video they released for that album, good song. Um, and I Walk Alone might be my favorite track to close this album off of. This album off. So, yeah, that's uh, it's just a great uh, uh, album. Once again, a band that came too late. It didn't really sound anything like that would stand out because, um, like I said, it came out, I think it was like 90, 91, like 90. And uh, while it's a great album, it you know obviously it didn't stand out enough to uh, you know sell enough, so they only made one album, and they're finally back together. I guess the new album or the EP is all original members, so that's something to look forward to. Hopefully, they make a new album full length, and it's available on physical format, and it's not crappy modern sound. So those are some of the albums I have that were by one album bands and i'll probably make another one eventually because i have a few more i could talk about but i just grabbed a random group of uh, albums here so thanks for watching um i'll put a uh, subscribe in the bottom like i always do and the videos to my previous ones to check out you know like previous maybe part one of this i'll put it in the, the des description so let me know what you think about these bands and what other bands i might be able to put in next time if i have them so thanks for watching. Um, as always, rock on, and I'll talk to you later.